The late 1970s and early 80s was the only period in human history in which having a mustache and wearing huge glasses was considered the norm, and not just something reserved for dirty hipsters. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my little story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. Argo is Ben Affleck's third directed film, and... I love the dude. At this point, I actually think I like his directing more than his acting. And that's not to say that he's not a good actor or anything, because he's damn good. But his directing is just so great. And honestly, I think he really acts best when he's directing. So I'd count that as a point for both skills. So in Argo, it's the story of the Iran hostage crisis that took place in 1979 to 1980 during the Iranian Revolution in which the U.S. Embassy was stormed and they captured the Americans inside. And there were 52 hostages in total, but this film focuses on the six that escaped before they could be taken. And they found asylum with the Canadian ambassador in secret. So now we have this really dangerous situation. If and when the Iranians find out that some people escaped, they'll be seriously hunting for them. And if they catch them in the Canadian ambassador's house, That'll drag the Canadians in too. So the CIA desperately needs to get these people out of here and soon. And all the plans are doomed to fail, except for only one. And this last plan is only slightly less doomed than all the others. So it's the best bet they have. And it's to have Ben Affleck, who plays CIA exfiltration specialist Tony Mendez, go in there with the cover story of being part of the production crew for a trashy sci-fi flick called Argo, and the six hostages would be part of that crew on Scout for Filming Locations. Ridiculous premise, but it's based on a ridiculously true story. The film does tension really well. There are a lot of very quiet, non-actiony moments in this. And you're really on the edge of your seat, just knowing that things are this close to just going horribly, horribly wrong. But it's great. It's an engrossing movie. The six fugitive diplomats are all very likable, realistic characters. Well, I mean, they are real people, so of course they're realistic in that sense. But the writing for them in this movie is really good, so it lends itself to that realism coming across. The writing in general is good for all the characters. John Goodman, who plays famed special effects artist John Chambers and is part of the CIA's plot to make the fake movie, is a really nice, cool dude. You can totally see Mendez and he being the friends that they became in real life. Alan Arkin as Lester Siegel, this other guy in the film industry part of the plot, just kills it in this movie. He's such a hilarious old guy. I, I love him. All of his lines are snarky and fun. I'll be saying, Argo, fuck yourself, all the time now. Brian Cranston, oh man, this guy. Brian Cranston is everywhere now, and I have no problem with it. I was initially worried that he'd only get a really small part in this, like he has usually in the many several movies he's made this past year. But no, he has a pretty big part in this, as Mendez's boss, and it's really awesome. The dude acts so well in these tense situations, he's, he's so great. And Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck in this just looks like a haggard dude. He's working in a desperate situation with some really horrible odds. He has a beard. He's constantly got this worried look on his face. He looks like someone who really deserves for something to go right for him once. And it makes him really likable. You want to see him succeed so that he can see his son and estranged wife again. And then the setting. It's, it's really cool to see Hollywood in 1980 and all, especially the sci-fi part. It's after Star Wars, it's right before The Empire Strikes Back. Science fiction is huge right now, so it makes sense that they'd pick a sci-fi flick for their fake movie. Especially one that requires exotic locations, like you'd find in Iran. And I do just so love movies about making movies, even if they are fake ones, so I always appreciate that. But you know... This movie couldn't have come out in a more appropriate time. Seriously, the Libyan and Egyptian embassy incidents that happened recently are incredibly coincidental here. It's just ridiculous how much history does repeat itself. It never ceases to amaze me. I could totally spin this into a political message and say that I hope it reminds people of what happens when the US fucks with shit. But I won't, because this isn't one of those videos, and I'll save that for another time. But it's still something to maybe think about. I'm just saying. Funny coincidence is all. But anyway, Argo is a great movie based on an incredible true story, and you should totally see it. Ben Affleck is a director who knows how to direct, and he's an actor who knows how to act, and knows himself as an actor. 
combine those two things and you have an amazing filmmaker and an amazing film. Since I'm doing ratings now and all, I will give Argo a 9 out of 10. It was a fantastic movie. Absolutely go see it. And that's it for now. Subscribe for more reviews and other cool videos every day of October, and I will see you next time.